Prepare to read. Step-by-step -step advice from the animal kingdom. Genre study. Procedural texts tell how to do or make something. Look for directions to follow, numbered steps that are in order, pictures that help you understand. Set a purpose. Read to understand the most important ideas. Look for details in the words and pictures to help you. Summarize by telling the important ideas in your own words. Power words. Predators. Prey. School. Circling. Herd. Predators. Predators are animals that hunt other animals for food. Little fish swim away from predators that want to eat them. Prey. An animal that is hunted by other animals is the prey. Fish are a bear's prey. School. A big group of fish that swims together is called a school. A big school of fish swam by our boat. Circling. If you are circling something, you keep moving around it in a circle. A bird was circling its nest before it landed in it. Herd. When you herd animals, you make them move together into a group. They herd the sheep into the barn. Meet Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Steve Jenkins and Robin Page are a husband and wife team who write and illustrate children's books together. Most of their books are about science and animals. They get a lot of their ideas from the questions their children ask them or from the interesting and amazing facts they learn while doing research. Their books have won many awards. Step-by-step -step Advice from the Animal Kingdom by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page From How to Swallow a Pig How to Defend Yourself Like an Armadillo 1. Freeze Many predators don't notice prey unless it's moving. Holding still can be a good tactic. 2. Run Armadillos can move quickly. So can you. If freezing doesn't work, don't just sit there. 3. Dig Start digging a hole. Use your long claws. Work quickly. You'll soon have a burrow to hide in. 4. Swim You're a good swimmer, and not every predator likes to get wet. 5. Leap Try jumping a few feet up into the air. This can startle even the fiercest predator. It can give you time to escape. 6. Hunker down if all else fails, pull in your head and feet and hope your armor persuades the attacker to give up. How to spin a web like a spider 1. Cast a line Cast a single silk thread into the air. If you're lucky, the breeze will catch it. It will snag on a nearby branch or other object. Two. Make a loop. Walk across the first thread. Spin another that droops to form a U. 3. Turn your U into a Y. Drop a line from the bottom of the loose thread. Tighten it to make a Y shape. 4. Frame your web. Spin threads that will form the borders of your web. Five, spin threads from the center to the edges. These lines form the framework for your web. They give you unsticky threads to walk on. Six, make a spiral. Make a spiral of silk. So far, none of the threads you've spun are sticky. Seven, get sticky. Now work your way back to the center. Lay down sticky threads. 
the original spiral will be your path. You'll recycle it by eating it as you go. 8. Wait for dinner. Now you can rest. Sit in the center of your new web. Wait for an insect to blunder into your trap. How to trap fish like a humpback whale. 1. Find some fish. The first step is locating a school of fish. Some of these schools include millions of fish. 2. Tell your friends. Call any humpbacks in the area. Let them know you've located dinner. 3. Slap the surface. Whacking the water with your tail frightens the fish. It makes them swim closer together. If you don't have a tail, ask one of the whales for help. 4. Swim in circles. Join the whales in circling beneath the fish. Blow bubbles. Herd the fish together by swimming in smaller and smaller circles. 5. Gulp. Take turns swimming up. Open your mouth wide. Swallow as many fish as you can in one gulp. Turn and talk. Use details from step-by-step -step advice from the animal kingdom to answer these questions with a partner. 1. Summarize. What are the most important ideas this text is about? 2. Which animal's body helps it the best? Use ideas from the text to tell why. Talking tip. Wait for your turn to talk. Explain your ideas and feelings clearly. I feel that...